Find a quadratic equation with integer coefficients that has the given solutions, 4 sevenths and 5. If the solutions are 4 sevenths and 5, that implies that x equals 4 sevenths or x equals 5. Let's try to rewrite this problem by using some algebraic manipulation. The first equation, I'm going to multiply both sides by 7. Multiplying both sides by 7, I end up with 7x equals 4. And then I'm going to subtract 4 to both sides of the equation to end up with 7x minus 4 equals 0. Let's do the same thing with the second equation, trying to get 0 on one side of that equation. We can do that very simply by subtracting 5 to both sides. Subtracting both sides of the equation by 5, we end up with x minus 5 equals 0. With these two linear equations, we can use the zero product property that says that 7x minus 4 times the quantity x minus 5 must also equal zero. And now let's take this left-hand side of the equation and apply the distributive property and multiply it out. 7x times x is 7x squared. 7x times negative 5 is negative 35x. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20. And that still equals 0. Finally, let's combine those two inner like terms. 7x squared minus 39x plus 20 equals 0. And from those two solutions, we have now been able to write out a quadratic equation in standard form with integer coefficients.